Hello and welcome to Birmingham Cameras Online. I'm Jules Call. Well, we're in store today for the Nikon Mirrorless Roadshow. I'm joined by Nikon expert Adrian Gaynor. Welcome back, Adrian. Well, thank you very much, Jules. It's always a pleasure to be here. Well, now, the hype behind this new launch, I worldwide, I've never seen anything like it with the launch of two cameras from Nikon. What's the hype all about? Tell us. Well, it's very exciting for us. Um, we culminated the end of our last century with the amazing and much respected D850. And we figured it quite appropriate to start the new century with an amazing new system with a completely new mount. And that's the Z system or the Z system. Call it whatever you want. Uh, but the basis behind it is a whole new lens mount with a very large aperture. What that allows is for a whole new system of lenses transmitting a lot more light in a more refined manner to the sensor into a, a mirrorless system. So now people have been waiting for it for ages, but we're in the mirrorless game and it's, uh, it's very exciting. Okay, because I've been reading loads of stuff about it online and the build-up and everything to this. And it seems to be living up to the hype. So we've got the Z6 and the Z7. So what, first of all, what are the differences between the two? Well, essentially, essentially, the bodies are identical. So if you were to feel one camera it's, and change it over to the, the next camera, button placement, weight, distribution, how it's balanced, it's identical. The fundamental difference is in the sensor. So the 7 has 45.7 megapixels mm -hmm. and the 6 has 24.5 megapixels. Um, now we've got hybrid autofocus points, which are... Um, contrast sensing and also phase sensing and those on the on the high density sensor is 493 of them occupying 90 percent of the image area which is phenomenal on the smaller camera it's well not the smaller camera on the slightly smaller sensor or 24.5 megapixel sensor mm -hmm. is 273 focus points again occupying 90 percent of the area so very fast focusing edge to edge pretty much. Okay, well it sounds absolutely incredible. Tell us about this um, adapter. Key part of the whole system, we're trying to attract, of course, people who have been loving Nikon gear for years. Okay. And they've got a lot of Nikon lenses at home, they're using them professionally or as keen amateurs. They want to keep using those babies. So with this adapter, they can use all of their AFS lenses. In fact, 90 plus lenses that are currently available will autofocus perfectly and a lot of legacy lenses as well. AFD lenses will work in a manual focus mode. Uh, zero light transmission loss, um, and absolutely no degradation in the image quality. Um, in fact, we've found anecdotally that if you put some of the modern lenses onto the new Z system cameras with the adapter, they'll actually focus just a little bit faster on the new cameras than they will on the older cameras. Wow. So this is not a band-aid to allow people to use their older lenses, it works incredibly well. So we're very proud of this. Okay, and for Nikon long-term DSLR users, why should we switch to mirrorless? Well, you know, th some people, they just have to have an optical viewfinder and Nikon has no intentions of leaving DSLR owners in the lurch and that's why we're going to be committed to both systems moving forward. Mm -hmm. Um, but what you might want to consider with the mirrorless camera is the five-axis, five-stop in-body image stabilization, which works not just with the newer lenses, but if you were to put uh, a non-VR lens on the camera in association with the, the adapter, you'll get the benefit of the in-body stabilization. Mm -hmm. Not to quite the same degree, you'll get three axes of stabilization, but you have that. You have the edge-to-edge -edge focusing, the faster focusing, and of course you have a small, compact, rugged body. It's a magnesium alloy uh, frame, and it's clad in such a way that it has the same uh, weather ceiling as the D850. Right. And so colours like I've never seen. Like even I was just holding the camera there and looking out the window here, and it's almost surreal to look through the viewfinder and what you see. Yeah. I've never experienced anything like that before. Yeah. How, how does that happen? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I've been a bit skeptical of moving to mirrorless mm -hmm. being a seasoned photographer and I've been waiting for the time when I can look through a, a mirrorless camera's viewfinder and see an image that's not looking lo like I'm looking into an old TV mm -hmm. well we have 3.6 million dots in the viewfinder here but the, one of the most important things we've incorporated ED glass uh, with our superior coatings on there special coatings and a fluorine coating on the back Combine all of those features together and you get a, 
a viewing experience that we've not seen before in a mirrorless camera. And when I'm using the camera, honestly, outside, occasionally I forget I'm looking through a mirrorless camera. It's quite mm. amazing. It's so, incredible. Yeah, it is. So will it be adding to your collection? Jules, I've got a lot of nice Nikon cameras and I've thought about it. Mm. I'm definitely getting a hold of one of these babies. Well, if it's good enough for you, Adrian, I mean, that says it all. If you'd like to know more about the Nikon Z6 and Z7, then drop into us in our newly refurbished store, or you can check out our website, birminghamcameras.ie. I'm Jules Call, keeping things in focus for Birmingham Cameras. <laughs>